Okay, okay, I'll stop now. Bit of a change today. Diagnostic Connections have been so kind to send me over this top Don Phoenix smart tablet with the HD truck subscription to see what it will do on a DAF. The specs of the tablet are pretty good to be honest. It's rocking Android 10 with a 4 core 2 GHz processor and a 12,600 milliamp battery, which means it lasts all day. I've not thrown this at the wall yet, and that's always a good indication of how responsive it is. It can be charged via USB, as nothing annoys me more than a laptop charger and an extension reel, as someone's had the truck adapter off somewhere. We can start by getting this fully updated, and then get onto our problem that has been passed over to me, which is an air suspension fault on the dip. With the MDCI plugged into the OBD socket and powered up, I can scan the truck and automatically search for the chassis number, which will then allow me to access all the associated systems listed for this truck. The system I want today is ECAS4, which stands for Electronically Controlled Air Suspension. With a nice list of options available, I can scan the ECU for errors and the one I'm concerned about is pending or an active error. Now we have a calibration data issue. And some open circuit faults for the height sensors. We can test the height sensor circuit and functionality through the tool by activating the rear axle suspension valve. By activating both valves, we can monitor the movements and check for the correct operation. Seeing as the right hand side is the only sensor changing value, I'm going to bang a new height level valve on first. With two bolts, a plug and a Torx bolt later, I have my height level sensor valve fitted and we can go about trying to calibrate the system. DAF do have specific spacer blocks. Where they are in this particular depot, who knows. So I'll have to use the spares. They might look precariously placed, but the official tool looks like the letter H, and this sits either side of the rubber bump stops. With the spacers on the saddle, we can lower the chassis onto the spacers and follow the prompt to continue. With this complete, we need to raise the suspension to its highest position and continue the calibration. A quick dash down the pit to remove our blocks and the calibration is done. And who said fixing these was like rocket science? To confirm the repair we can check the functionality on the tool once again and with both valves now operating within millimetres of each other I'd say this was a successful repair. One last check with the ECAS remote to ensure it works correctly and we can get this back to the customer. but not before I can see what other functions this tool has to offer, such as these activation tests, which range from fuel leak off tests to fan and coolant pump functionality. Whereas in EAS, we have knock sensor tests, add blue dosing and regeneration activation, all things I use every day on Davy. Will it work with an NGD? Not a chance. At the end of the day, it's not Davy and never will have the full functionality of a dealer tool. But with the ever increasing amount of electrical diagnosis, this certainly could help in a busy workshop. 
as you have just seen from the suspension calibration. Tell me if you've enjoyed this bit of a tool review in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you in the next one.